Hi, this is Ronan from Cable Guys with a quick guide to using MIDI Shaper to modulate plugin instruments and effects via Ableton Live's MIDI mapping system. If your plugin instrument or effect doesn't feature a MIDI learn function, you can assign MIDI Shaper to modulate its controls using Live's onboard MIDI mapping system. To do this, however, you need virtual MIDI ports to be installed on your system. Mac OS includes its own virtual MIDI ports in the shape of the IAC driver, which is activated in Audio MIDI Setup's MIDI Studio. PC users will need to download and install MIDI Yoke, Loop B or Loop MIDI, all of which are free. Once you have your virtual MIDI ports installed, open Live's MIDI Preferences and turn the Input Ports Remote button on. Then select the Virtual MIDI Out port in the Output menu of MIDI Shaper's MIDI Setup panel to complete the routing. Select a MIDI CC from the menu at the top of one of the five assignable columns in the MIDI Shaper matrix and raise the modulation amount to that column for any active source. Now click the MIDI button at the top right of the live interface or press Command or Control and the M key on your keyboard to enter MIDI mapping mode. Then click your target mixer or live device parameter to arm it for automatic MIDI mapping. The selected parameter automatically maps to that CC via the virtual MIDI port and begins to modulate as soon as MIDI mapping mode is deactivated. To access a plugin's controls for MIDI mapping, click the Unfold Device Parameters button in its device box. To avoid signal confusion when MIDI Shaper is already outputting one or more CCs, Select your new MIDI CC from MIDI Shaper's Teach menu. That CC will then output constantly, overriding all other outgoing CCs for the purposes of assignment until Teach is turned off again. Here, MIDI CC9 is being assigned to CM Verb's Reverb Time and modulated by MIDI Shaper's Source 2 LFO. Finally, please be aware of two issues with virtual MIDI ports. Firstly, timing might not be accurate, especially when you render your track, and if you install or remove system-wide virtual MIDI ports later, you might need to set up your chosen virtual MIDI ports again in your existing projects.